It's been, I didn't upload one yesterday. Sorry about that. But that's basically because nothing remotely interesting happened. And I sat down at my computer in all fairness and thought, right, let's do this. And then I sat there for a few minutes and thought, no, I ain't got anything to talk about. So I didn't do one. Sorry about that. But it would have just been me sitting there going, yep, this is it. Nothing's going to happen. So you don't want another one of those, I, I, I'm sure. But <laughs> possibly the most embarrassing thing that's happened this year happened, me, happened to me today. <laughs> it's just, it's always me. Like, all the time. I don't know. It never happens to anybody else. But, yeah. You may have, meant, you may have noticed in that last vlog, I mentioned Chinese New Year. Which, you know, that's pretty brilliant. And, um... It, it goes... <laughs> oh, God. I can't... This, like, literally, I can't believe it happened. But, yeah. Right. I celebrated Chinese New Year today. Not in the traditional way. And I'm going to tell you how. Right. I've had another day off today, so I thought I'll do me washing, you know, get me room all tidy and everything. So went up, put me washing in. That was fine, you know, put it on for an hour and then came back into me um into me flat for a bit. And then an hour later when I had to go and pick it up, out, you know, I wandered up and um the washing machine next to mine had a Chinese girl who was packing all her stuff in and her door was like against mine. So I was like, can I just move the move the door? So and she didn't hear me, so I kind of like tried to move it a little bit myself, but I must have put a bit too much force behind it because it kind of swung around and hit her in the arm, and she was like, ooh, like that, so <laughs> that wasn't very good, and the way that my what like washroom, because it's like communal, is situated is there's like a row of washing machines, and then there's tumble dryers put on, like dryers put on top of each other, and the only one which, that was free was behind the Chinese girl on the top. So I had to lift my stuff up over her and put it into the dryer, which was fine to start with. But like, if I had hit her with the door, it would have not been a problem. But because I had hit her with the door, I was like, right, this is going to take so much precision not to do anything, work, like kick the door into her face or something like that. So like, doing every item quite carefully. And then just as I was taking... A load of pants, boxer shorts, whatever, out of the out of the out of the washing machine into the dryer. My phone buzzed in my pocket. I think it was my dad texting me about something. I don't know. But as I lifted it up, it made like it made me jump a little bit. So my hands tilted a little bit, and a pair of my boxer shorts fell on her head. Dramatic change in lighting. So this. Poor Chinese girl had had the door swung in her face and my still wet from being washed pants dropped on her face. I didn't know what to say. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And she was like, it's fine, it's fine. Very racist. It's fine, it's fine. Because she was obviously English. Um, so I kind of loaded everything in as quickly as I could and then got out of there. It was just... I don't know what I do. I don't. I think that people just like whoever whoever's watching over us just likes to watch down on me and think I'm gonna f mess with you about for a bit. So not only did I hit this poor Chinese girl in the arm with the door from her own washing machine, but I dropped a pair of wet boxer shorts on her head. <sighs> Horrible stuff. I hope I don't have to see her again because she'll be like, mm, I wore your boxer shorts as a hat. Not many people can say that. Oh, that poor girl. Not only does she not be, not only is she not able to go home for new Chinese New Year, but some randomer drops a pair of pants on her head. It's, it's not. I know it's not funny, but like, I can't help but laugh. That poor girl. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much been my day. Dying of shame. I'm just glad it was a you know a nice pair of boxer shorts, not like my old holy ones. I don't mean holy as in, oh lord. I mean holy as in they've got holes. But yeah, they were a fun, quite a nice pair of boxer shorts. So hopefully she didn't mind too much. But you know, at least she's got someone to ring home and tell her parents about now. So yeah. That is, that's been my day. I mean, like, 
nothing as bad as that could have happened to me again. <laughs> I'm scared. To, I'm scared to go to sleep because I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. I might, you know, kick somebody by accident in the face, or like I don't know. I never thought in a million years I'd be dropping my pants on somebody's head. This is just my life. It's like people who follow me on Twitter know that this is just an everyday occurrence. For most people, this would be like a defining moment in their life. Not for me. Nope. This happens every single day. I do I do something every single day. Just ask Sam Weston. Follow him on Twitter at this is the Sam. He'll tell you for sure. I just get in situations that aren't good. But I'll tell you more of those situations later. So I hope you're looking for Oh, I got a passport photo done where I look like an axe murderer today. Look, there I am. How scary is that? I don't look like that. Do I? Oops. Gotta have them for Friday for my universal interview. So got them today. Well, I had nice hair. So and then I came back and dropped some pants on somebody's head. <laughs>